Hello everyone, I'm Jessica Blackbird. Welcome back to my channel. This story is about Police Chief Joe Don Chitwood, 42, of Calvin, Oklahoma. This town is very small. There are only 275 people in residence. He is the only law officer in their town. He was um, found to be um, using and selling methamphetamine. Look at the difference in his picture. This picture is from now, and that picture with the dog is from 2019. The difference is clear. Look at what methamphetamine has done to this man. He looks much older than 42 years old. So let's get into the story, and then I'll give my commentary at the end. By the way, like, share, subscribe, and tell me what you think about this story in the comments. An Oklahoma police chief is now in jail, accused of dealing meth. The Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics says agents found small amounts of meth in Calvin Police Chief Joe Cheatwood's home. Agents arrested him in Hughes County Thursday. OBN says this is part of an ongoing investigation into meth distribution in southeast Oklahoma. He was arrested and uh, placed into custody. The Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics says this was not a large scale operation and the chief was selling to individual customers. More smaller amounts, user amounts uh, that was being uh, that were being sold on the streets there by this the, the chief. So the police chief was arrested and given twenty five thousand dollar bond. And um, but he still as of Monday to um, today as of this afternoon he still has not been charged he has resigned from his job however so this guy i mean what nerve you know what nerve to be the chief of police and you're the dealer you're the town dealer of meth i mean it just blows my mind i guess he thought because He's the only uh, law enforcement officer in that town that he could get away with it. But I mean, the meth use was showing on his face. Look at the difference. He looks 20 to 30 years older in this picture. I mean, it is horrible. He looks like he doesn't have any teeth in his mouth. I mean, I guess because he was the only law enforcement officer in that town, he may have thought that he could get away with his drug dealing. But then again, he may have not been thinking clearly because he was using drugs after all. So I went online and I looked up um, some long term and short short term effects of methamphetamine. So short term, loss of appetite, increased heart rate, blood pressure, body temperature, disturbed sleep patterns, bizarre, erratic, and sometimes violent behavior, panic and psychosis, convulsions and seizures. And then the long term, damage of blood vessels causing heart and brain um, issues, high blood pressure, um, uh, Alzheimer's, damage to the lungs. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Stroke, malnutrition, severe tooth decay. And look at the difference between this man in 2019 and the picture that he took on Thursday. I mean, they don't, he doesn't look like the same person. I mean, this is a very sad situation. Um, I mean, just drug addiction is sad. We see so many people homeless and walking the street in these big cities and you know you can clearly see that they're addicted to something it is just so sad but you know drug uh drug addiction drug dealing um it's never going to go away it's only going to get worse um so we'll always have a war on drugs I mean, this story is pretty much aggravating me because he is supposed to be the person keeping the laws and making sure everybody follows the law and he's breaking the law. And this happens so often 
Um, you know, you want to believe that we can trust um, our officers and our, you know, doctors and lawyers and, you know, politicians. And they're supposed to be our, you know, upstanding citizens. But so many times they fall short of what they represent. So we need to every time this happens, we need to keep them on their toes and, you know, make them do what is right. And so once again, let me know what you think about this story in the comments and like, share, subscribe. Thank you.